Greetings, this is Jesse from Nintendo Dads with a video showing one of the new features of firmware 11.0.0 for the Nintendo Switch. This lets you send multiple, uh, up to 10 screenshots or one video at a time to a smartphone. So if I go to albums, I'll start out with, I'll, I'll select five videos. If I choose the first, or five screenshots, I choose the first screenshot, say share, send the smartphone, send a batch, then I can select the other ones I want to send. As I say send, then it'll bring me a QR code. If I scan the QR code, it'll then prompt me, it'll give me a button on my switch phone to join a, the switch is now a Wi-Fi hotspot that the phone will connect to. Once that connects, the second QR code lights. I scan that, and then it says it wants to open a web page in Safari. That gives me to save a screenshot, tap and hold the image, and select save from the pop-up menu. Note, menus may differ, may differ across browsers. So if I, so I can tap the, the one at a time, view them, Hit in the X goes back. If I select and hold, I can add to photos. We'll do that to all of them. Now that that's done, if I go into my photos, the five photos that I are now in my camera. And uh, so that worked. It worked. That was the first time I tried that, and it, it worked, you know, surprisingly well. Let's just try that again, real quick, with a video then. So let's back out. Let me get my camera phone back to a camera mode. I'll choose this video. Send to smartphone. And it doesn't give me an option to batch. Join the network. When it connects, it'll give me the second QR code. Open in Safari. And now I can play the video from my phone. Stop, or I can say download, download. I'm not sure where this is going to send it. Let me... uh, yeah, didn't test this part. So I'm not sure where it, that downloaded it to. So I, so, I have two copies of this on my phone. I just don't know where they are. <laughs> so, that's that's how you can get screenshots and videos to your phone. So I, okay, so they're in my iCloud drive now. Okay, and... and so, I haven't tested this yet, but if you direct connect your switch directly to a computer through a USB-C cable, it, not through the dock, but it's got to be through a USB-C directly. So I can't show it because I can't I can't capture it. Uh, the, the, there's supposed to be a way to allow you to transfer files, probably through like like connecting it to a thumb drive. I haven't tested that yet, but I'll, I'll give it a try and probably talk about it on Thursday. Hope this video helps. If you enjoyed it, let us know. Comment in comment below. Thanks for watching.